Hi everyone. My name is Brian Mulligan and I'm a program manager in the Centre for Online Learning and IT Sligo. Now this is a recording of a live presentation or live webinar that we give every week for people who are interested in finding out about online learning in IT Sligo and to some extent experience what a live online learning class would be like. Okay, on with the show. So imagine if you didn't have to travel to study, that you could study at any time that suited you. Okay, if you had easy access to your lecturer and classmates. Well, that's the way it is in IT Sligo Online. By the way, there's a link to an RTE news report from some years ago on online learning at IT Sligo if you'd care to listen to it. Just take down that link and um, off you go and listen to that in your own time. We won't distract you with that. So we have live classes over the internet, a bit like this is now, except you're looking at a recording, but you can come to a live one if you like. So you can listen and watch live. You can ask the lecturers question during the session and you can discuss with classmates. You can make comments to your classmates during the class. Apart from that, you've got 24 seven access to your course website where you can listen to recordings of lectures. You can access other resources that are available. Um, you can submit queries to the lecture. Uh, you can get feedback on your work that you've submitted and you can take part in discussions with the lecture and with your fellow classmates. And of course, sometimes we need to bring you here. And if you do, say for labs and that, we will bring you here. But a lot of programs you don't need to attend in Sligo at all. And even that, we've been working on that. Some of our labs are actually available across the internet where you can control equipment. Now, this is only for a few courses, but I think it shows the innovation that's going on here at IT Sligo. We won a, a several awards for this work in that. This lower picture shows actually students uh, attending a, a lab where they um, work software and the lecturer is helping them to use the software. That's 3D Studio as it happens. Okay, some of you might be interested in that. Okay, now the feedback from our students so far is that it's convenient, it's satisfying, it's quite sociable, and it's high quality. So we're getting good feedback from our students. Here's an example of one uh, senior engineer in uh, Galway in Ireland, and uh, that's his comments on learning online from IT Sligo. We're gonna have a quick look at that. Uh, we get emails from graduates. This is one uh, who did one of the Lean Six Sigma or quality courses. Very happy with the course. Just give you a second. You can just glance over that. I'm not going to read it out to you. And of course, we've been growing steadily over the years. We haven't been doing very aggressive marketing. A lot of our uh, growth comes from people telling other people about the courses. In fact, you may well have found out about online learning at IT Sligo from a friend or a colleague. Uh, as well, we get inquiries from other countries and we do try to take students where possible from other countries, particularly when there's no lab work requirement. And we even try to facilitate them by taking their exams online over the internet. Uh, our programs, our courses are very suitable for industries because it allows them relatively low cost access to good training for their staff without disrupt, disrupting the lives of their staff too much. So uh, we're getting well known for this. We've got lots of publicity in the media over the years and awards, various awards, the Taoiseach's awards, the uh, Digital Media Awards, Engineers Ireland awards. Uh, we've been at it since 2002, so it's quite a long time now. We have over 1,400 students and we have over 50 programs online. Okay, so let's say something about the programs, just something briefly about the programs. First of all, I'd like to explain levels because this is quite important for you. We tend to do courses at particular levels and expect you to have already studied at the previous level. So level five is equivalent to leaving certificate or high school uh, and post leaving certificate, some post leaving certificate courses. We don't do courses at that level. We generally expect you to have at least that level when you come here. Level six is higher certificate or associate degree in the US. Uh, generally, it takes two years of full-time study and it's worth 120 European credits. Uh, 
level seven or ordinary degree. This would take you three years normally full full time study. But if you've already got a higher certificate, you can do it in one year full time. OK, that would be 60 years, 60 credits extra that you would need to get. Now, that's full time study. Uh, level eight is another top up. It's 240 credits. So you'll need another 60 credits on top of your level seven uh, to get that. So it would take you another one year of full time study. Also, higher diplomas are classified at level eight as well. And level nine is a graduate diploma, master's degrees. Graduate diploma is usually 60 credits and 30 credits to get a master's degree. Now, it should be said that part time students normally take 30 credits per year, sometimes more, sometimes maybe 40 and some in some cases maybe 60 credits but it's normally 30 credits per year so if you were doing say a level 7 ordinary degree you would need a level 6 of some sort to get into it and it would probably take you two years part-time study okay hope you understand the levels then I, I don't think I can go through all these programs you should check our website because this goes out of date they're growing every year so we've got them we specialize in mechanics uh, or mechanical engineering manufacturing mechatronics quality we also have a hdip science in computing we've got a uh, level nine and we, uh, we've got quality there we also have some construction and civil engineering programs as well and of course in science we specialize in biopharmaceuticals you can see the different levels there so you can work your way up right from the bottom to the top uh, in environmental science uh, we've got a course a master's in, uh, in the social science and early childhood care and education and we have business courses from level six up to level nine as well so you're as well to check our website to get full details on those programs eligibility um, i mentioned this before but we'll go over it again because it's quite important you need to have the level just below for entry into a course so for a level seven you need to have level six already okay now, if it says our equivalent, you may actually have other qualifications, other Irish qualifications or other types of qualifications that you've gained in Ireland. So there are other qualifications we will look at to see if they're equivalent. OK, you may have courses taken that are not fully accredited, but if you've got good evidence of the learning in those courses, if, uh, we may be able to accept those in partial or in full uh, for entry into a course. If you've learned things on the job, that may also be taken into consideration. However, if you have these non-accredited or other accreditations, if you don't have a level six from Ireland, we probably need to put you through what's called an RPL process, recognition of prior learning. You should get in touch with us for that. Probably best thing is to put in an application and we'll be able to see quickly do you need to go through the RPL process? But no, no harm in emailing us and letting us know that you expect you may have to do RPL. Two types of RPL, by the way. RPL for accredited learning, where you have formal study and certificates of qualifications. Uh, we can look at those and try and map them on to what we expect. And you could get exemptions from individual modules or you could ex get exemption or you could get just entry onto a, a higher level program. OK, now you may have non-accredited level uh, learning where you've done lots of good work and work experience or in-house training, community, voluntary courses, uh, you know, lots of things. We would need a lot of detail and some evidence, but we may be able to give you some exemptions or our advanced entry into courses based on that. It could turn out that we can give you partial credit and we say, oh, no, there's a few gaps you've got to fill. And by taking one or two modules or subjects, you may be able to get enough to get into the course the following year. OK, what sort of equipment do you need to learn online? Well, it's pr fairly basic, fairly standard. So basic broadband connection, a standard computer. Normally we'd say a PC or Mac, but we'd say there's even you may be able to take it on a tablet or maybe on a Chromebook, uh, where it's, if it's just Internet access. Um, uh, you, you would probably need a headset unless you want to annoy everybody at home rather than having it coming out of speakers. And if you have a microphone, that can help from time to time. You may want to speak to your lecturer. Um, uh, you would need e access to email, of course. 
and you'd need something for doing your assignments on. Normally you would recommend something like Microsoft Office, you know, that costs a lot of money. So you can get Open Office, which is free and downloaded onto a, a PC, uh, or just Google Docs, that's completely free. You could use that as well. Um, so that's pretty well what you need in terms of equipment, nothing fancy. Okay, what skills do you need? Uh, well, I mean, apart from your qualifications to get into the course, you should be fairly adept on the internet, we'd say. So you should be able to use email, okay? You should be competent at browsing the web. And so, th I mean, those are probably the only two skills you really need to get online, email and web browsing. However, there are some personal qualities that you probably find very useful. And so it would help to be self-motivated. You know, we're not gonna be standing over you all the time. You need to be motivated yourself. You need to be organized. Um, have your time organized during the week. It probably will be if you're doing 30 credits, maybe 15, 18 hours work a week. So you're gonna to have to figure out where am I gonna fit that in in the week? So you need to be organized, okay? Another thing that's very useful is be being confident with interacting with others over the internet, not afraid to ask questions. Remember, you're on this course to learn. You have the right not to know things, so don't be afraid to ask questions. Now, we'll provide you with some induction training on using the technologies, so that shouldn't be an issue. So how would you apply for a course? Well, you go to our website at itsligo.ie forward slash online look at any of the courses or programs there and at the bottom of the page you should see a link click click to apply online before you go online before you click that it probably as well to note down the precise name of the course you're interested in and the course code which will be at probably at the top of the page okay in your application include as much information as you can about your prior qualifications and that includes your work experience and any workplace learning you have. So that's it really. Uh, if you have any questions, go to the website and get in touch with us with your questions and we'll try and answer them. Thanks for listening and looking forward to, looking forward to having you on one of our courses. Bye now.